Hello again, everyone, and welcome to another edition of Woodpecker's Deep Dive. My name is Jeff Ferris, and we're not in the shop yet, but we're on our way. I wanna explain what we're gonna do today. A few months ago, my wife, Nancy, asked for a clock for our mudroom. Uh, and so I had to figure out the geometry of how to lay out a 12-pointed clock. I got it figured out, and I made this clock. When I got it done, though, she said, you can't put that in the mudroom. We had to hang that here in the entryway, and I still need one for the mudroom. So let's go back to the shop. I'm gonna work on my second clock, and I'll show you how to lay out the 12 points of a clock using Woodpecker's Pocket Compass XL. So as I mentioned, this is a pretty simple geometry problem, uh, even though I'd completely forgotten how to do it. Uh, and thanks to Mr. Barnes, uh, because at least I remembered enough to know how to back up and uh, figure out what I was looking for. And it's really very simple. All we need is a compass, a good sharp pencil, and a way to find the center of the board. And for that, I'm gonna use Woodpecker's centering rule. And then when we get the points located, we want an awl to mark them and make sure that our center point of our compass has a good spot to register in. All right, let's get started. So as I do this, we've got the camera set up and I'm gonna try and work upside down so it'll be correct for the camera. So the first thing we need to do is locate center of the stock. And using the standard scale on the Woodpecker's Woodworking Rule, I can see that my stock is 11 and a half inches wide. Now I'm gonna to switch to the center scale and I'm gonna put five and three quarter on each edge. And I'm just a little bit narrow. So what I'm looking at here is I want those white marks the same distance outside of the edges. I've got that just about perfect. So now I'm going to mark my zero point. Now we need to do that on the other end of the board. I want to be as close as I can to be exactly the same spot on the other side. Now when we strike this center line, everything else that we do is gonna be based off this. So we want that center line in the middle of our board but if we're off a tiny little bit, it isn't gonna matter because the entire layout is gonna be based off of that line. Now, we need to find the center of that line. So next, we're gonna find the center of the other direction. And just like before, what really matters here is that when we find that center, we want it in the middle of our board but everything is going to work off of that point right there. That is the center of our clock. And so now that we've established that, I'm gonna take an awl, and I'm gonna come right in there, right on that point, and set my center. Now when we get to the point of mounting the works for the clock, that will be the center point for my drill. All right now we're gonna lay out our numbers. And just looking at the board that I have here and how much room we have, the way we're gonna put those in, I think my best spot to locate the buttons is gonna be at nine inches. So I'm gonna set my compass to nine inches. Okay, I've got the axis point of the compass set in the center of the clock, and now I'm gonna draw a circle all the way around. Okay, so there is the circle. We have 12 o'clock and six o'clock set up. Now the next thing that we need to do is find three o'clock and nine o'clock. So what we're going to do is we're gonna to come to noon and six, and we're going to mark those points with our all. Now, 
We're going to come up here, and I'm going to go someplace. Doesn't really matter which. Let's go plus four. We just want to go outside of our circle. So we'll use the plus four, and we'll make a mark there. We'll come across to the other side. Same thing in our plus four. Make a mark there. Now we're going to come to 12 o'clock and we're going to get the intersection of that there and there. Now we'll connect those two lines across the intersection and through the center of the circle. We're going to mark three and nine. If we continued those lines, we could drop a square on there and those four quadrants would be perfectly equal because we bisected the circle. All right, now we're gonna go back to our original radius at nine inches and we're going to take that to each of our four points. All right, so we need to go ahead and that there. Mark that there. Now, here is kind of the magic part of dividing a circle into 12 equal points. When we go to any of these points along here, it will intersect the line at a perfect third. So if we can divide by three, we can divide by six. All right, so what we're gonna do here is come to three o'clock for you, and I'm gonna come into my nine inch mark. I'm gonna mark there and there. Okay, now I'm going to come up to six o'clock and do the same thing. We're in there at six. There we go. Swing over to the other side. Same thing. Now, to come over to this point, there, and there, and finally from your perspective, 12 o'clock high, and we mark there, and there. And there's our clock, all right? 12, 1, Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, and back to twelve. Perfectly even spaced. Now we'll just use our all, set each one of those points, go to the drill press, and drill it out. So once we have it drilled, we have all kinds of options on how we can create the numbers on the clock. Uh, you could just take a colored dowel, put it in there, sand it off flush, uh, and be done with it. Uh, what I did was I used dowel pins like this, and I glued up the blocks as squares. Then I put those in the lathe, and I turned them into spheres, or half spheres. Okay, or you could just go ahead and use a square block on there. Uh, same thing with the perimeter of the clock. Uh, you could leave it square like this. Uh, you could do an ellipse like I did on uh, Nancy's uh, birthday clock. Uh, or, uh, you know, you could do a perfect circle just outside that. The design options are wide open. You can do lots of different stuff. But now you know how to lay out that perfect 12 point clock. Folks, thanks so much for watching today. I hope you enjoyed our look at how to lay out a clock. Uh, if you enjoyed the show, be sure and give us a thumbs up. If you haven't yet, be sure and subscribe to the channel and hit the notification bell so you'll know about every one of our videos right when they come out. Thanks so much for watching. We'll see you next time on Deep Dive.